it's that time again. Yep. We are Team Wester, and you are the most important thing to us. Team Wester podcast. It's all about the team. Welcome to another edition of the Team Wester podcast. I'm Brad Gelber, joined by my co-host Reed Ferguson. Reed, great to see you. Great to see you too. Uh, back after the bye week. Yep. yep. Uh, feeling re-energized and rejuvenated. Good. So that's the two words I wanted to describe <laughs> <laughs> the intro today. Perfect. And and uh, I'll add one more thankful. That's an, thankful, another one. We're, sure. at, we're at yeah. Thanksgiving week here. So um, we have our special Thanksgiving edition of the Team Muster podcast today. Um, for people listening, watching, I want you to stay tuned because I teased this last time, but we have a really special guest coming up. Uh, Team Muster's Dion Dawkins will be joining us to talk all things Thanksgiving, food, family traditions. Uh, it was a great interview we got to have with him. So we're excited to uh preview that for you and give you that interview coming up. But first, before we get there, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about football since that's what we do on the Team West Trip podcast. Of course. Um, so we'll have some Thanksgiving stuff, but but first off, um, I can't really ignore the fact that, you know, last time we were coming into a very important game for uh, the Bills, we were yep. coming into Chiefs week. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we talked all good things on a roll going into this, uh, this game that everyone has highly anticipated, kind of Josh, Mahomes, the whole thing. Um, we know the history there. Um, th things went pretty well for you guys and, and quite an exciting game. And we can kind of maybe talk about the end of the game there since I know that was the focus. But sure. how was the game being on the side? sideline and just yep. the atmosphere there seemed crazy so tell, tell me about it yeah it was uh, I mean I, I, I told my wife this and and some of my family that we kind of visited with over the bye week but um, you know it it felt like a playoff game sure you know for all intents and purposes it basically was right um, when you look back at the end of the season that's going to be a big you know for for seating purposes but um, you know <laughs> comparatively speaking when you take that playoff game that we had back in January, yep. I mean, it was every bit as loud and rambunctious and um, and intense, mm -hmm. really, uh, from start to finish as that game was. Right. And uh, you know, fortunately, we came out on the right side this year, and um, you know, it was it was a ton of fun. <laughs> I think uh, you know, people always ask me, "What's the loudest stadium you played in? What's yep. the you know the your favorite place to go visit? You know, favorite away stadium to go play in?" Um, that uh, I think the loudest that I've ever heard the stadium, I, I, previously speaking, was yep. uh, kickoff. Uh, we played the Steelers at home in 21. That was a year after COVID. Yep. The first home game or home opener after uh, the fans were, you know, were allowed yeah. to come back in. Um, I think that was the loudest yeah. before Josh's run <laughs> yeah. uh, last week yep. on, on on Sunday afternoon. So yep. or Sunday evening, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean. Goodness gracious! It was uh, it. You couldn't really you couldn't really hear anything going on around you. Know we're we're, I think it, you know it's fourth and two. Yep. So we're think you know we're kind of like are we are we kicking a field goal? Yep. You know like what are we doing? So we're we're kind of getting ready to run out there, and they're like all right we're going for it. Yep. We're on the twenty six yard line. And you're like all right, they're you know we just need two yards. Sure. Um, but he ends up ripping one for 26 and we're like, Oh my gosh, yeah. we got to go out there for the, you know, it's extra point extra time. Point, yep. And uh, you know, extra point was big there because yep. it, cause it, cause it made it, you know, it made it a uh, two possession game, eight right. to nine. So uh, really put the pressure on, you know, uh, the chiefs to go out in there and, and, and have to score twice with, I think just over, I think it was yep. maybe just over two minutes remaining two twenty maybe. So uh, yeah, it was, it was um, gosh, what a, what a, what a night for, the, what a night for, uh, for Bill's Mafia. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was great. A lot yeah. of fun. So we talked about this going into the game, just kind of how that 4.30 game is almost like the perfect window because yeah. it's not too late for the fans, but it's not the, the 1 o'clock kind of onslaught of all the other games. You kind of get that prime time earlier window there. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, it seemed like the perfect time for that yeah. game because the nation was watching, but you still got to go home and watch watch the, the Sunday night game yeah. there. Afterwards. It is my favorite. The 4.25 is, is the best for sure uh, just because you don't, you know whether you're home or away, you can you don't have to wake up you know sure. early and and immediately start getting re getting ready for a game, uh, which is nice. You know one o'clock games are, are great too, but uh, getting a chance to kind of uh, digest your morning, yep. if you will, and then on the flip side, you know on, on the back side, uh, get, like you mentioned, getting home yep. and being able to kind of catch uh, most of the Sunday night game. 
uh, f- for those who like to watch yep. is uh, is it's like one of my favorite things to do. For so sure. you kind of you kind you get to catch a little bit of the one o'clock uh, kind of as you're as you're getting ready if they're on a TV or something, mm-hmm. and then you get ready, you play your game, and then go home and watch the rest of the of the night game. It's it's I don't know. It's great. Four twenty five is I think is is the primo Premier, yeah. uh, primo kickoff spot for sure. Absolutely. So uh, in talking, you already kind of hinted at the play, I guess I'll call it. And I think if we we look back on the season and we, uh, you know, if Josh ends up winning MVP or something to that nature that a lot of people think he deserves, um, we're going to look back at that play, I think. Yeah, and that's going to be one of the catalysts for for it. But, you know, as a fan watching, I think um, I'll, I'll say to, to people watching or listening, I probably they can attest to, uh, as I've gotten older, I don't yell quite as much as when I'm watching football. Like I kind of just internalize and you, you especially sure. when you're around it and, you know, you're doing things like this with the podcast and things, you kind of think about it maybe in a different way. But yeah. um, I don't get too loud. I, I was yelling at the top of my lungs. Yeah. And I think most people were at my, my wife's family's house. We were watching the game and it was one of those where it was almost in slow motion watching it because first of all, like you said, it's fourth down. You're thinking, okay, if they kick the field goal, it goes up to five. I think at that point, right. cause yep. you guys had a two point lead. Mm-hmm. So people in, in my household were saying, you know, kick, kick the field goal, take the points, take the points. And I'm thinking like, yeah, you could, and, and no offense to you guys on special teams, but sure. I was thinking, like, we've seen this too many times from Patrick Mahomes. If you give him the ball with with time left and it's a yep. one-possession game, as good as the defense has been, it's just a lot of pressure. So you put it in, as you've said to me many times before, who, whose hands do you want it in in that moment? Yep. It's 17. So, yep. But to see him take the ball, run with it, you're like, okay, he got the first down, good. But then he keeps going. You're like, okay, yeah, yeah. he's still going. He's getting a little him. further. Yeah, yeah. He's getting real close. And then he's like, oh my God, he's in. And yeah. you're just, it's, it's, I explained it as it's like all the frustration you felt maybe over the years watching the Chiefs games that didn't go the right way. Sure. It almost like released you of that in that moment because yeah. it was like, it went right. It, it happened how it should. Yep. Josh made the play. You guys, at this point, you're in a great position to win the game. And then even better on the final defensive drive, yep. they you know, they were inter- intercept Patrick there and sealed yep. the deal good for the defense. So um, I think, like you said, in special teams, kick the extra point to, to put it to two. So it just seemed to all click in that moment. And I know you guys have had success in the regular season uh, versus the Chiefs, but it just had to feel good that, like, in that moment, it just went the way it should go. Yeah, I think um – you know, you hit the nail on the head when you said, you know, who do you in in crunch time, mm-hmm. who do you want to put the ball, you know, whose hands yep. do you want it in? Uh, you want it in 17. You want yep. it in your best player. So, um, you know, they trusted him and he got the job done. And yep. like you said, uh, really, for the most part, put the game away. But, uh, you know, I was I was uh, you know, there were there were a lot of guys that um, are relatively new to the team past mm-hmm. couple of years that weren't there for the game a few years ago in Kansas City and I'm sitting there and I'm just like it is not oh you know it's not over no no until we we either get the ball back or something else happens it's not over so um because like you mentioned you you've seen them not only against us no um but you've seen them do it against you know most of the teams in the league where they you know if they have to have a fourth quarter comeback or something like that um so uh yeah I mean it it was you know defense came up big there at the end really all game long and uh, it, was, it, was, it was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. yeah. And I think at the end, everyone always kind of listens for uh, Josh and Patrick's kind of uh, midfield meetup. And I know yeah. Patrick picked up on the mic saying, we'll do this again. So I'm sure that's that's the thing everyone's yeah. looking forward to is if it comes to the playoffs, we'll, we'll see how it goes this yeah. time. But um, all right. So obviously that game went went really well. Um, and, you know, the chief, you just said it, it. It's not just for the Bills. But the, they tend to do this for other teams. They did it yesterday yeah, and yesterday, they were able to yeah. come back and mm-hmm. they're at 10 and one now. So one game kind of ahead of you guys. But um, you guys ha- got to have your bye week. It seemed at a perfect time to kind of, as you already yeah. said, re-energize, recharge going into the mm-hmm. second half of the season here. Um, how was the bye week? Because I know yeah. I know you said you're hoping to do some Christmas shopping. Yep. So uh, how, how, did, how did it turn out for you? I, I didn't get as much Christmas shopping <laughs> no. uh, done this year as uh, as I have in years past. Made some Christmas lists. Okay, uh, checked off some boxes, mm-hmm. but uh, we we went back home, got to visit some family, and uh, partook in a uh, Thanksgiving early Thanksgiving nice. since we haven't gotten to do that uh, the past couple years. Um, we, we just have stayed up here kind of yep. through the bye week. Sometimes with the early bye week, it kind of just kind of depends on if we can get away or not. But sure. uh, 
we got we got to go back home for a couple of days and it was nice yeah. um it was uh got to enjoy some sunshine nice uh, i know i know we, we kind of left uh it's been really it's been beautiful yeah. in buffalo for yes. those uh, people that live here it's been great yep. like that game again you know the chiefs right. game it was it, i think kickoff weather. it was like 50 degrees yep. you know middle of november you yeah. never see that no, right no. Uh, and uh you know this coming up this week for with the San Francisco game, a little different. Uh, it's it gonna, seems you know looking like it's going to be down in the twenties. So uh, you know nothing we haven't seen before, but sure. um, that, you know pretty pretty big difference than two. You know two sure. weeks makes a huge difference, and uh, but you know we kind of got out I guess at the right time. Yep. Um, but uh, no, it's it's good to be back. We were in the building uh, today. We're gonna record here on Monday. We were yep. in the building today for a little bit. Guys were you know excited. Vibes were good. Uh, music was blaring, so it was, it was it was it was exciting to be back and kind of see everybody. You could tell everybody was uh, was kind of uh, like I said, re-energized, rejuvenated, mm-hmm. uh, ready to kind of uh, finish off the back half of the season here. So, yeah, we're 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 definitely looking forward to Sunday and getting back out there and f- at home. For sure. So Sunday night football coming up uh, yep. versus the 49ers. Uh, a couple things on the line here, which we'll get to in a moment. But I did want to ask you, I saw um, you were having some uh, Twitter engagements yes. with some <laughs> folks kind of poking, poking fun, I guess, at Buffalo for not dealing with the snow, which yeah. um, if you're from here, you've been to a game. It's just mind blowing that yeah. people would even say that. So I don't know if it was just trolling to get a reaction sure, or not. Which but, is fine. But but to your point, it, it seems that we might be in store for some lake effect snow this yeah. weekend. If not, it certainly will be cold, and we've all seen plenty of snow games in Buffalo. It was kind of nice, I, I said on Twitter, too, or, or X, I guess. Um, you know, it was nice watching two other teams deal with the snow uh, sure. last week yeah, versus, yeah. versus us for yeah. once. But, um, you know, to your point, just a, a little out there that someone would say we don't know how to deal with, yeah, with uh, I, the and, snow. Yeah, and I think it's it's got to be, you know, um, I, try, I try to have as much fun as I can sure. on Twitter, X, whatever you want to yeah. call it. Uh, you know, if I feed the trolls, then so be it. I like, <laughs> yeah. I think it's funny. Um, you know, I think it's, you know, if, uh, like I told that, like I said, that one of the guy, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it comes down to a public safety issue, sure, right? Sure. It's not a, 100%. um, it's Player not a, you can't decision. play yeah. on the field, right? Yep. Um, you can't get to, if you can't, you can't play on the field if you can't get to the game. Right. Right. right? So, uh, you know, the, the, the people that run the stadium got to get to the game. Yep. Emergency people got to get to the game. The fans got to get to yep. the game, right? Um, it's so it's not it's not it's not a it's not a direct you know you're not just air drop in the, yeah. into the stadium yeah. with your yeah. with your pads on, right? It's not Off just like you just, uh, you're just appear, you know you just appear on the field, um, which clearly some people think. So uh, <laughs> you go through and the I'll underground what, tunnels. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't know if the, I don't know. It, it was last year. It was the uh, Pittsburgh playoff yep. game that that uh, had to get moved to the Monday, the Saturday to the Monday. Yep. And uh, I think it was a guy off Pat McAfee's show, mm-hmm. Pittsburgh. Uh, oh, yeah, but Pittsburgh. I remember that guy yeah, walking around Buffalo. Is. He's yeah. walking around Buffalo. Yeah, kinda, I, I think he guy. was doing it to I troll. I think he was Definitely. trolling. I'm sure that he was. I'm sure that he had enough wits about him <laughs> sure. to understand the difference. The, situ- the difference. Yes, lake effect and isn't lake, widespread. Right, exactly. It's it's, bands, it's, yes. it's uh, w- why they had to move yes. the game. Yep. Um, but of course, he was feeding sure. feeding into it. Um, and, and getting a lot of traction from it, sure. Yep. But uh, I guess the people that are adamant that the snow doesn't affect, uh, you know, people directly in this yes. area, or you know, I just I don't know. I don't understand. I welcome but them you, to come here during sure, a, sure. Uh, a you, storm. You, you, you either uh, you don't understand, or you've never lived here. Sure. One of the two. Anyway, off the soap. Off of that. But, uh, yeah. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> you know. I have become a weather nerd. Mm-hmm. You know, a couple of the guys that I like to follow on social media yep. that put out stuff about the Northeast area sure. and in our region, um, like all the different forecasts and Euro forecasts and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have no idea what really the what any of it means. The yeah. models and yeah. the you know what, when when can you look at this model? The X, you know X amount of days out yep. and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's really it's fascinating because it, it has a I think. Um, you know, more than anybody, it has a direct uh, effect on my job. Sure. You know, snapper, Snap punter, ball. kicker. Yep. You know, special teams in general, uh, more so than than offense, defense. So, uh, you know, I, I take it as a little bit of my responsibility just sure. to be tuned into it as much as I can be, and uh, and have as much of a grasp on the on the local 
weather patterns as you can going into game day and going into kickoff. Um, but yeah, it's 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 kind of a, a fun thing that I've that I've took an interest in in the past couple of years. Sure, yeah. um, and I definitely think not a meteorologist, <laughs> no. nor will I go to school to be Amateur, one after I say. <laughs> after I'm done playing. But uh, no, it's, I mean, it's it's fascinating to. There's way more oh, yeah. that goes into it than than the general population realizes. I totally. think. But uh, I mean, the you joke up here, you're like. You say it's gonna rain. Yeah, you got a fifty percent chance of being right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You say it's gonna snow, the December to February. You yeah. probably got a fifty yeah. percent chance of being right. So, uh, you just you never know. But yeah, it's fun to look at for sure. And obviously, I think people probably remember a couple uh, seasons ago. Even um, we've had instances where fans were driving players to the stadium on yeah. snowmobiles and stuff yeah. like that. So it's no joke. I mean, it it happens. But um, looking to Sunday, obviously, snow, no snow, cold. Probably no matter what, Definitely. Um, but there's quite a bit on the line for uh, maybe folks watching, listening that don't realize uh, very rarely, if ever, do you hear a team has the possibility to clinch their division the first week of December. Um, but that is actually the situation you guys find yourselves in. If uh, if things go right and you're able to take care of business for San Francisco um, and if Green Bay ends up beating Miami, you guys will um, clinch the division already, um, which is just a wild thing to think about. So um, I know, again, I, I don't I know you guys approach it week by week, no matter what, but just hearing that, is that something that's just kind of uh, crazy in your own head? Is that because, you, you know, we've talked many times about what is the goal? The goal is to win the Super Bowl. To do that, you got to make the playoffs. The, yep. the best way to do that is to win your division. So right. the fact you guys could, could do this this early, uh, that has to mean a lot. To yeah, you yeah. I think, uh, you know, you, 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 you said it, uh, you hit the nail on the head. You know, it's a, it's a week to week. You know, the cliche stands true for us. You're trying to go 1-0. and oh, You're yep. focusing on San Francisco. You know, is it nice that we've put ourselves in a position to be able to, you know, potentially clinch this weekend? Yes. Uh, are we going to be tuning in to the Thursday night game yeah. on Thanksgiving? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, is that going to change the way we approach Sunday's game? Definitely not. Right. right. It's it's a uh, it's you know we want to win that game whether we're fighting for the division or not. Yep. So um, you know like I said it's 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 great. We don't take it for granted that we have you know worked hard worked uh, this hard to be in this position. Sure. Um, to be able to clinch in week you know thirteen I guess it is. Yep. Um, you know that's that's great. I'm not sure what the historical uh, the earliest is, but. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure some teams have done it early December. Uh, but, um, no, I mean, we'll, we'll be watching Thursday night, and if it happens, it happens. If it yeah. doesn't, then we'll be fighting for it the, the week after, yeah. I think, um, when we go to L.A. Yep. Um, you guys, so, can, even if you don't get it this week, you would control it the week after. Sure, if you win, sure. you, you win the division. Um, so. Yeah, so, you know, you know, that's case in point right there. You yep. take care of business Sunday. If it doesn't happen, take care of business the next week. It happens. It does, you know, you yeah. get your hat and T-shirt, you fly home. So. Yep. Um, although it doesn't, I don't, uh, have we win, I'm trying to think of like, his, like recently when we've clinched, um, on the road, the division. it home. seems like we're usually, on it seems the like we're always on the road. Yeah. I think there might've been like, one year like, you uh, were 2020, home. we were in Denver, uh, last year, happened. I think it was 20, on the road, on the road sure. last year. I can't remember when, when it was. Um, there was anyway, one year like I think always, there was uh, at home, but the rest I'm pretty sure you're right have been away because okay. you guys oh, fly last home. Year was um, then, the Miami game. Yeah, right, right. It the was season. the final game. Yep. I think um, two years ago we were in Chicago. Yep. I can't remember 21, but anyway. Um, and the fans are always lined up at the at the yeah, airport at the when airport. you guys get it's home. Fantastic. So, so uh, you know, maybe the stars will align and we can we can we can do it at home this weekend. So, uh, but definitely, uh, you know, like I said happy that we're in the spot to be able to do that yeah. but um trying to go trying to go one and zero against san francisco last thing i'm going to ask you about football before we get to this uh interview we've been waiting for here with Deion dawkins um in terms of clinching i know it's different every year last year for instance it was the last week it was kind of a, a playoff game before the playoffs it was sure. it was right into it from there no. other years when you've clinched earlier um how, what, how do you keep your mindset? Obviously, I know once you clinch the division, then you're playing maybe for seeding or a bye week potentially. But this early in the season, if you were to clinch, how do you kind of make sure you're staying focused and not, you know, looking too far ahead and still taking it week by week, even if you already sure. know you've won the division? Yeah, I think um, it comes, you know, I think last week's game was a huge, um, 
catalyst for, you know, going forward after the bye week. You know, if it does happen and we'd win the division the next two weeks, you know, you're still fighting for that one seed. Yep. You know, there's no there's no there's no automatic um you know, it's it's not a given that Kansas City is gonna uh lose another game, sure. right? So you're looking, you know, potentially having to win out to give yourself the best shot. Yep. Um but you know, I think that you know, could that help? Yeah. Are we, you know, are you still trying to go into every game to win? Yes. Definitely. Um, cuz I think you 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 want, you know, just like last year, I think we were the 2 seed last year, you get those two game those two home, home games, games if you yeah. you know, you get past the first round, you you're guaranteed a second uh a second home game um in the in the divisional round. So and and that's that's really what you're fighting for cuz uh, you you want those home games in January, so, um, yeah. I mean, it's it's it. You know, I think last week meant a lot yep. for the season going forward. Um, but yeah, I don't know. yeah. And I, I think one game too. No matter what happens, if you've clinched the division in whatever situation you're in, I know a lot of people. Are, um, and you you don't look that far ahead, but we'll look ahead there for you. That Detroit game coming up in a, in a few weeks here. I think yeah. a lot of people are excited about that one. Yeah. So it's gonna be a lot. That's gonna be a lot of fun. That's a fun place to play. Sure. And uh, we you know they were. Um, I, I I saw a couple clips on it from a couple of days ago. I think from I think it was a uh, you know on this day a couple of years ago when we played them. Um, you know that they were. Uh, I think that was kind of early in the Dan Campbell yep. uh, coaching. You know, w- yep. after he took over, and they, you know, they weren't. Their record didn't look great, but they played tough. Sure. And uh, and and they, you know, we kicked the game winner there at the end. So uh, you know, the, the the record with that team, you know, they're a great. Now they're a great team. Yep. And I think they're, you know, they're definitely one of the best teams in the league. Um, but so we're, you know, they're, we're we know what we're expecting going in going into play them, but. Uh, hopefully get a couple couple wins before then for sure all right Reed well um, it is Thanksgiving time as I as I alluded to earlier and um, I'm already getting hungry it's only Monday and <laughs> Thursday is a little far away but I feel like you kind of kind of mentally prepare for Thanksgiving like you want to eat and stuff but you like want to be ready for Thursday so you have extra room yep. for, for Thanksgiving yep. uh, one guy who's not shy about eating Deion Dawkins always jokes he you know the big the big guys know the most about food so um, coming up right now we have our interview with uh, team musters Deion Dawkins talking all things Thanksgiving. Uh, catch it now. We're sitting here with our man Dion Dawkins. Thanksgiving time, time to eat, time to feel good, time for family. Dion, thank you again for being with us this time of year. Turkey time, time to eat, man. So to kick things off here, uh, I'll, I'll grab the first one uh, just because I, I got to ask you this, Dion. What is a typical Thanksgiving like in the Dawkins household? Nah. Gotta have some smack and cheese, bro. Uh, I think for my dogs right here, sides. Mm-hmm. This is a controversial topic. Go longer than the main dishes mm-hmm. in the that. Dawkins household. Uh, I am a big sides guy. Okay. So if we're talking about mashed potatoes, we talking about yams. We talking about macaroni and cheese we talking about mashed potatoes we talk about greens we talking about stuffing okay. we're talking about even the nasty cranberry stuff <laughs> yeah. well, man, that's the good stuff it's gonna be there but the i ain't gonna touch the good it. stuff i ain't touching that cranberry <laughs> stuff my sister and my brother love it the one that come in a can with the slice yeah yeah not for snow uh-uh but um turkey and all that stuff that stuff is cool you know but turkey is usually dry you know, you got to dip yeah, it in a bunch yeah. of sauce you anyway. Come to my house for Thanksgiving. You know, I would love to taste a nice, wet, and juicy turkey. <laughs> but, but, uh, uh, do you treat yeah. that? Do you treat the turkey as the side? The tur- the, the like the turkey is you like say one the of the sides go longer in the Dawkins yeah. household. Or is is do you treat turkey as a side, or nah, do you still treat it as the main? I think that like I treat turkey as like a steak. Okay. Like if we're talking about like a course. Okay. Turkey is like your boom, and then it's like, okay. You know, ham is like your boom, and then it's like, mm-hmm. you know, steak is like your doom, and then, boom. you know what I'm saying? So that's like, that's kind of that, but sides for sure. And then dessert, apple pie, carrot pie, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Warm, nah, nah. No, I'm no, we'll work on, on it. Not, we'll not, work on not it. really pumpkin for yeah. snow, but definitely like a hot, cold blend. Hot, 
Apple pie, vanilla ice cream. Talk to me. There nice, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm getting go. excited. How much time is it dinner? There you Whoa. go. So, uh, okay. So, so second question. Yeah. Parlaying on on what you were just talking about. Give me your. Give me maybe your top three or four Thanksgiving foods. If you ranked them. Ranked rank them, them. Ranked them one. To, rank them one to four. I gotta rank it all. Yeah, man. I'm a big boy, man. Everybody gets a ten out of ten. Everything in the <laughs> house gets a ten out of ten. But macaroni and cheese, stuffing, and mashed potatoes. Keep Top it cool. Three. Oh, I'm gonna say in the bread. The if it's the little Hawaiian bread uh, joint, yeah. cool, because that's how you make the sandwich out of everything. I make side sandwiches. Have you ever had? Have you ever had a? Have you ever had a, have you ever had a side sandwich? I have. No turkey. Sounds good. Stuffing, macaroni and cheese, <laughs> and yams, maybe. He's feeling it. Yeah. In, in the sweet roll. In the sweet roll. Scoop it all up. I feel you. Whatever's wet on the plate, scoop it and eat it. Love it. Mash me. So one thing, uh, you know, I didn't read, I, I can ask you this too, obviously, <sighs> being a, a player as well. But for you guys, like, do you like playing on Thanksgiving? Because I know it's, it's, cool. it's kind of become like a tradition in yeah. Buffalo of late since the team's kind of accelerated. You've, you've yeah. been playing. So is that cool? And if so, like, when do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Is it before? Yeah, is yeah, it after? Yeah. Like, how does after. that roll? After. Celebrate it after. Um, and I enjoy it. Like, I... To keep it real, I enjoy being in front of the camera. I enjoy performing what I do in front of the world. And to be on a stage where there's only a couple of us playing and everybody's watching, I would love to show what I could do. Sure. And I would love for our team could do. And uh, maybe not every year. Sure. Maybe not every year. But if we're talking about, like, out of 10 games, if we're, like, talking about, I would want to do it eight, cool. yeah. seven. Yeah. It's cool with me. Yeah. 70% out of 100. Sure. I'm cool with that. Yeah. What about uh, you, Reed? Yeah, I, I like it. I think um, I I think personally, but I think as a team, yeah. since we've been here, we've played in all three slots, yeah. right? The early, the middle, and the late game on Thanksgiving. We've won in every slot. Yes. I just want to know how many teams in history can say that Not they've many, won. I don't think. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. That's a badge of honor. You gotta For wear sure. that. You gotta wear that proud. All right. Uh, I think it was a lot of fun going to Dallas and beating Dallas in 19. Right. That was the only time I think we'd done it, done Thanksgiving meal before. Right. We usually do it after, as, as you know, family stuff. But yeah, I, I like playing on Thanksgiving. It's fun. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's it's a it's it's kind of like playing on Christmas or yeah, like we did like we played in L.A. first game of the season. Like it's a, it's a historical audience, moment like yeah. that's a that's a special game i think everybody the whole country's watching for sure right and especially, especially to talk about for sure like, like when you're done playing for sure like for to sure. be able to tell your kids and to tell your family like sure. I, 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 this was us i've yep. got the football from the dallas game yep. in my office at Me home too. just because i was like right on bro i mean how many how, you go in go into dallas and win yep. and that's when we were kind of ascending you know it's, that was a special Special game. For sure. One I question guess. I think a lot of fans want to know, and I know there's been some mixed reaction over the years. When they give you that turkey on TV, right, and the quarterback, y'all take tried, a bite have you ever of it. Tried I think it? You've no. been, you I didn't bite it that one year. I, I thought think, maybe. I've heard, I know for a fact, yeah. it's been on record one year it was like extremely dry, like to the point. It like, looks dry. The, yeah. So it looks like I don't know pain. if you I think guys in New Orleans, it, but. We won in New Orleans three years ago. Mm -hmm. I think that was the dry one. Yeah, because Trey, Trey White. I remember Trey White telling me. <laughs> yeah, and there was some obviously memes he's from down now. there in Louisiana. Yeah. He was eating it. Uh, but I, yeah, I think it was the the, the New Orleans one. Yeah, it it has a, re a, a reputation. Well, they, of, who knows when they cook it? And who, and who knows who's been around it? <laughs> yeah, people probably breathing on it, looking at it, spitting on it, sneezing on it. Talk about look, that's the turkey spitting on it, like yuck. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it definitely looks like they paint like like a gloss on it so it looks good for <laughs> yeah. and for camera because yeah. i know turkeys don't shine like that yeah and the, little, the turkey legs definitely bottle. don't look like that so i don't know <laughs> but the guys be chomping on in like hard pass on and that. like it's if like it's like a t a water burger or something t like t nah. did it uh in detroit yeah, that's two years it. ago mm -mm. after he kicked the game winner he he was he said it was pretty good t bass <laughs> t bass that's a double check with him Please, <laughs> I, like I want a big boy fact fact check. Okay, that's you fair. You know, like we need that's a big fair. boy to be up there to eat that chicken, turkey. You're up. <laughs> yeah, next, somebody next next giving game. Somebody You're got up. it and got to do it because the skinny boys can't be the be the food checkers. Yeah. It's the big boys. We the ones that's gonna eat it. The skinny boy is gonna pick. We gonna eat. 
for sure so to wrap wrap up <laughs> this crazy, uh, thanksgiving segment with you yeah. Deanna, something we do in my household at least is we talk about things we're thankful for around the dinner table i don't know if that's something you guys do yeah. um you know is that you know that time of year though this time of year when we're kind of reflecting back is it is that kind of something you guys take part in how you know thankful uh, yeah. the whole thanksgiving time period there you know like we try to do that all the time right. we don't just direct yeah. it to one time of the year for sure uh because i do a lot of research mm -hmm. i do a lot of research of really what's going on so i do a lot of research you know and um thanksgiving is not the only time that you should overly be thankful for anything you know every day that you wake up you should be thankful sure. every meal that you have with your family should feel just as special as thanksgiving so i take it as that um and I research what, you know, holidays are really and where they came from and who invented them and how this even come about. Sure. So, you know, like we try to sum it all up into the good. And um, but yes, we are very thankful for Thanksgiving. We do enjoy being together for Thanksgiving and uh, we are very thankful for each other. And uh, that goes. It goes. Welcome back. That was a uh, great interview there with Dion Dawkins. Always so fun to sit down with him and talk talk some football. I know yeah. you get to do it uh, yep. probably all the time in the locker room, Dion, but uh, the best. hearing there, him there's, talk. There's uh, very few people you come across that are that are just an absolute natural yeah. in front of a mic, in front of a camera. Yep. He is A1 on that list. Totally. Yeah, totally. A1. And uh, I want I want to implore people watching this to check out our social channels because if you enjoyed hearing about Dion Schmack and Cheese, uh, Mac and Cheese, we have a uh, separate little segment we did with Dion uh, in the kitchen, Chef Dion, uh, talking all things Mac and Cheese. So make sure to check that out. But um, Reed, you know, we got to sit down and talk Thanksgiving with Dion, but I want to talk to you a little bit more sure. about Thanksgiving because uh, it's like we said, that time of year. So um, you mentioned already you got to kind of do like an early Thanksgiving, but um, you guys don't play on Thanksgiving this year, yep. which hasn't been the norm of late. Um, mm -hmm. So what's a normal Thanksgiving like in the Ferguson household? Yeah, so uh, I guess I'll just hit on it food-wise because football, uh, you know, I got the TV on, yep. got all three games on throughout the afternoon. Uh, but the, the first thing that goes on my plate <laughs> is the jellied cranberry okay. sauce. Okay, yep. Okay, it's controversial. Yeah, on the, the one out, right of, the out can, of the can. Out yep. of the can. That's the first thing that goes on my plate. Okay. Uh, and so we had, we, we, like I mentioned, we, we went home for the bye week, got to spend time with some family. Um, and I told my wife, she was asking me, you know, like what kind of, we, cause we haven't really um, had a, you know, had a Thanksgiving with, uh, you know, with either one of our families sure. since we've been married, since we started having kids. Um, it, it, you know, we, we've been up here or yeah. playing a game or, you know, something, we just haven't been together with family. So, sure. Uh, you know, putting they're putting the menu together. Yeah. There she's saying, you know, like what are you know, like what do you want? Right. A couple things you'd like to have there. Uh, I said, all right, first, you know, first and foremost, <laughs> gotta have the, the jelly cran cranberry, cranberry sauce. sauce. Uh, that's just you know, it's yay yeah, high. Gelatin, it's shaking just a little. Shaking yeah. on the plate. <laughs> uh, so you know, you cut that up. Have a couple slices. Um, sweet potato casserole mm -hmm. with the marshmallows on top is is a must. Mac and cheese. Sure. Ham and turkey. I think those are kind of the staples for my plate. For sure. um, you know, if you have stuffing, that I'll take some stuffing. All stuffing right. or dressing. We'll have one or the other. Uh, green bean casserole, um, and then you know any any of the desserts mm -hmm. is really I'll partake. You know, pumpkin pie, pecan pie. Sure. Either either one. I'll really I'll I'll indulge myself. But uh, the 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 cranberry sauce. I would say um, I'm more of a ham guy. Yeah. For Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah. I do like turkey. Sure. It has to be cooked the right way. Yeah. Not too um, dry. And, yeah. Not too dry. It's got to be prepped the right way. Um, but, you know, ham, a little bit of turkey, sweet potato casserole with the marshmallows on yeah. top. Uh, I'm, I'm eating good. All right. Yeah, so I had two, had two plates, and I was like, <laughs> I had to wait on dessert. Yeah. I, the food that, that my wife's family and my wife made was fantastic. Like, it was, it was amazing. So I... I I was like, all right, I'm gonna eat this food while I can, because we were flying back sure. the next day. I was like, let me eat this food while I, while I can, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and I had some dessert later that night. Yeah. Once like the rest of the food digested, let your but stomach I had to let little, the two yeah, plates yeah. of food work, you know, kind of work its way <laughs> through, and uh, it was 
Man, I was plopped down on the couch, and I didn't move for about <laughs> yeah. two hours. It was yeah. great. That's how you know it's good. Yeah, it was good. Um, so I was going to ask you, is, is there any Southern influences in, in the food? Because I know, like, um, you know, being from the South, like, that's yep. a, it has its own. And you mentioned dressing. Like, maybe yep. <laughs> what's the difference here? So for the people that are ignorant yeah. to this, is so it, the, it's a so different the, thing? The, uh, like, corn, like, cornbread uh, dressing, mm-hmm. um, it, you know, like, you, you st- like, stuffing is what you put in the... Sure. In the turkey, yep. I guess. I've never to prepared cook it, it before yeah, yeah. to cook yep, it. Yep. And then the dressing is kind of, you can do like a cornbread dressing mm-hmm. is kind of what people in the South normally do. Sure. I think the sweet potatoes with the marshmallows, yep. normally see that, you know, yeah. south of the Mason-Dixon sure. line. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I would say pecan. I don't know if peca- is pecan yeah, pie a I thing th- up th- here? It, it's probably but sort it's probably of. heavier down maybe people down say there pecan a pie yeah yeah pecan probably pie. pecan <laughs> uh not <laughs> pecan pecan yeah. um i'm trying to think of what else there uh, there's like a there's a um a like a it, it's called strawberry salad okay it's like a strawberry jello mm-hmm. with some whipped cream and like pretzels on the bottom oh okay. i think I that's a su- that. i think that's don't a southern that. thing um it's 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 a it's kind of like a dessert yeah. but you eat it it's served with the main with the other side, with like with the main yeah. dinner and the sides and stuff, uh, so I think that's probably a southern yeah. thing, and maybe maybe like homemade cranberry sauce. Okay, yeah, like the is that yeah, the f- okay, like a fresher like, one. like how do you yeah. eat cranberry? Like yeah, how does your family eat cranberry well, sauce? There's the two right. You have the canned one that you you've seen. So you guys to serve love. the can. Yeah, there's the can because but I've then been to a few. My mom likes over the, the years, fresh one where it's like it's like just mushy Mush but it's cranberry. like all fresh okay. and so she has like orange zest in it yes. or stuff okay. like that you okay. know what i'm talking about so i also if that's there i will yeah. definitely eat that too because okay. i i love the fresh cranberry yeah. but nothing beats the jelly <laughs> nothing beats, uh, beats the candle <laughs> but the cranberry with the orange zest in it is is pretty good but um okay so maybe that maybe those handful of things okay. i guess yeah I, I learned some stuff but so I, I, think think it's, I think it's i think it's uh I think it's family dependent, sure, right? Because totally. like everybody Your has their one thing yeah. that they like. Yep. Some 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 people uh, don't, you know, like may not have a ham. Sure. On Thanksgiving. Sure. Christmas, you know, hams right. for Christmas. Right. Um, or but, Easter. Or Easter or something, like, or that. something yeah. like that. But I'll I uh, ham is ham's a must. Yep. Got to have ham and turkey. So yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. What about uh, being being the grill guy? Obviously, sure. do you uh, have you ever done turkey in an interesting way? I know people smoke them. They do yeah. all different stuff. Uh, put the beer can inside yep. of it. Some stuff. Yep. So have you tried anything different? Done the beer can with chicken. Okay. Um, but uh, there there's there's a way um, that you can cook a turkey. It just co- I think it cooks a little better. You you can inject it. Put some butter pats in there. Okay. Season it up. Um, but you, you, instead of cooking it, like, um, I guess the way you buy it, sure. you can kind of break it open. It's mm. called spatchcocking. Okay. Spatchcock the turkey. And uh, I, I think that cooks it way better. Okay. Uh, at least more evenly. And then you get, you can kind of, I guess, cut the cut the meat off a little easier sure. after you do it that way. But um I love doing a turkey. I don't do it very often just because yeah. of the holidays, but it's not so, you know, it's not something you really do like right. in the springtime. Yeah, you just don't really like smoke a normal, turkey, no, right? Normal week um, but like fried turkey, yep. amazing. Yep. Got to do it the right way. Yep. Um, but fried turkey is, is if you can get somebody that does it the right does, way. Does it right, yeah. That, that might be like a good fried turkey. Sure. I think beats a smoked turkey. Okay. So, but... Like expert said, you gotta know what you're opinions. doing. You gotta know what you're doing. Expert cooking opinions yeah. from Reed Ferguson here. Um, so you kind of already alluded to it. I was gonna have you rank the Thanksgiving food. I think yeah. we at this point know that the cranberry, the canned <laughs> cranberry, cranberry is gonna overtake is everything one. else. I think, um, like, if I had to do a top, I'll do like a top four. Okay. So like one would be the cranberry. All like right. that's the first thing that goes on my plate, right? Mm-hmm. I think number two would have to be. The ham. All right. Okay. And then I think it's sweet potatoes and then, like, the stuffing or the dressing. Yeah. Like okay. Sweet potato casserole. I think that's It's fair. like when you got, like, the crunchy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I think, it's, I think some people could throw, like, crunchy pecans in there. Yeah. Oh, man. It's too, yeah. It's making my mouth yeah. water. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah. 
I gotta say, I gotta say stuffing to me has always been a favorite, but I think it's like underrated because I think people just assume like, oh, like there's the stuffing, but like if you do it right, like it's, it's really, uh, it's gotta be, and you don't eat it too often any other time of year. Like you said, like you're not just like whipping the stuffing out on a normal Saturday for dinner. Like you don't, right. Doesn't happen. So it's that one Uh, time of year chance. Can't mess it up. Um, people hate this word, yeah, but it has to be. Moist. Moist. All right. Moist. Okay, yeah. you knew where I was going. <laughs> it can't be dry. Sure. You got a dry stuffing. Yeah. Nobody's going to eat it. Yep. Nobody's gonna, it's going to be it's going to be the full Garbage. Yep. the only full pan there <laughs> yeah. on the uh on on the and Then you always feel bad cuz whoever brought yeah, it or made like, it oh, and then someone oh, feels yeah, like they got to like some. dip the spoon in and move it around yeah. a little so it looks like someone ate <laughs> a little some, bit plop it on your plate and kind of <laughs> just like look like it's just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, um, thanks. So, uh, okay, la- last last part here. Um, are there any kind of unique family traditions uh, for, for your family um, that you guys do? I know you mentioned kind of it's, it's dependent on the time, but, you know, which year it is, if you guys play or not. And maybe maybe the tradition is around when you guys do play, but anything kind of unique in, in your yeah, household? I think, um, you know, the, <laughs> winning on sure, Thanksgiving sure. was kind of the tradition yeah, there for a couple years a pretty nice one. when we were playing. Um but uh, I think uh, the, I think the fun like tradition, you know, I wouldn't. I don't know if there's like um, I think just having the meal, sure. sharing a meal with your friends and family, whoever you're around, is is a, is the tradition in and of itself. But um, the one thing that we've loved to do around this time of year, and it's usually you know right after Thanksgiving, is just decorating the house yeah. for Christmas yep. time, putting up the tree. Yep. And, uh, and, and just like putting the kids to bed and yep. then we can, you know, we take all the boxes out and, 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 uh, decorate so they see it when they wake up. Sure. Um, so that's kind of what we've have, what we've enjoyed yep. doing the past couple of years and, uh, looking forward to continuing that tradition. That's, I would say that's probably the biggest thing. For sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my wife and I will wait. Uh, we were looking back cause Thanksgiving was earlier last year, so it was like right around this time. Oh, yeah. So we had decorated right after. But um, are you guys a pretty like steadfast? It has to be after Thanksgiving, or, do, or is your wife pushing it earlier ever? Because we're pretty on the same page with like Christmas music, decorations, everything's like right after Thanksgiving. You can go full gung ho, yeah. you know, all the way out. But until then, we we hold off. I know some yeah. people have had Christmas stuff up since Halloween ended. My so brother. where do you fall? Yeah, my brother <laughs> is big into that. Yep. I uh, I wish that we decorated sooner. Yep. My wife is big, uh, big no no. Thanksgiving uh, only. Thanksgiving yep. hard deadline <laughs> yeah. after you know hard Thanksgiving's the hard line. Sure. Uh, day after we could you know we could start decorating for Christmas, but yep. um, my brother is a huge holiday <laughs> fiend. Uh, so he's had his Christmas stuff, and he just got married. His wife is okay. is all in; she's all in on it oh, too. Man. So encouraging um, it, encouraging yeah. it for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's uh, he he's he. I Facetimed with him a couple weeks ago. He's had his stuff up. He's in for, North Pole you know, three weeks now already. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, it was, it's. I wish we did it earlier, but I'm fine with. You you do it right after Thanksgiving. You yeah. get it for about a month. Yeah. And then I just guess it depends you, when you, you can't take it wake down. up and see like, yeah. the Christmas <laughs> decorations and be in a bad mood. Yeah, right? totally. not that I'm in a bad mood when I yeah. wake up really anytime, but yeah, you can't be in a sure brings a Christmas spirit. Yeah, and then I and you know I think then it's a question like I said, when does it come down? That differs for everyone yeah. too. I know if it's uh, the weather's not always that nice that time of year, it's all gray. Sometimes the Christmas decorations stay up a little longer because yeah. it keeps bringing that that cheeriness to the, yeah. to the household. Yeah. A little bit. Probably around new year's. Yep. Yeah. You can't take it down like immediately no, after no, you got to give it a, oh, another, give week it about or a, so. you know, five or six days, yeah. take it down new year's yep. plus or minus a day. Yeah. If there's green on the ground though, it's, you're probably waiting a little too long. To, well, to funny story, <laughs> funny, not so funny. Uh, we had a, we had, we had some lights put up on our house. This was a couple years ago. Um, by one of our neighbors, he okay. was, he just, he did his own, and he did ours, and uh, we left them on all year. Okay, never took them yeah. down. Uh, so, not super proud of that. That's okay. But, uh, we, didn't they them on. we didn't turn them on. Lights. No, they were just Col- white lights. Okay, the white ones. I yeah, think the whites, are a little. But, uh, better. We never turned them on. Okay, right? they just so were we, up. They were just up yeah. on the house. Yeah. So I guess if you weren't looking for them, sure. Uh, but yeah, we won't do that. <laughs> all right, you heard it here. Reed Ferguson is not leaving his lights on his house no, all year round this year. Again. If you're a neighbor of his, check back right. and let us know yeah. how, how it's going. But we put new ones up this year; they look great. So. All right. Well, um, so we're really excited for this next segment here. Not often do we get to have our uh, producer Stephen Fox 
his voice uh, up here here on the show, but he's going to be here for this next segment because uh, Stephen, why don't you explain to to the people listening, watching what we're what Reed and I are going to be doing? Today. Sure. The Heights uh, producer producer Steve here, a long time long time fan. Thanks for taking my call. <laughs> yeah. I, I really appreciate getting through. We're going to get you guys headphones and if uh, fantastic. Second producer Alec could. Uh, distribute Thank those you, so Alec. that you guys can hear what I hear. So I got to thinking, there we go. Now we can all hear each other. We're sure all one, one big podcasting family. Oh yeah. Um, so I got to thinking about how, you know, there's it's common knowledge. There's not as many Thanksgiving songs as there are Christmas songs, right? Which is why, you know, you guys were just talking about how decoration wise, I think a lot of people wait until the day after Thanksgiving to go, all, you know, gung ho with the Christmas sure. stuff. Radio stations do not. They've no, been playing no, Christmas no. music since as like they Labor Day or so. Yeah. So yeah. as they should. But if if let's say there was more, I've had Mariah Carey on for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they defrost her what November first. Yep. Yep. So hey. to to that point, if for whatever reason it was it was federally mandated no Christmas music until the day after Thanksgiving, you have to give November to Thanksgiving. What would the radio station sound like? Right. And so I put together silence. Little, put together a little <laughs> a little mega mix for you as to what that might sound like. And in okay. in the vein of like I, I was actually thinking about Mariah Carey's "All, All I Want for Christmas Is You," like what would be kind of the modern anthem? So I'm going to play a few songs for you guys. We'll, right. we'll shuffle through it. You guys can react. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if there's anything that here that strikes your fancy or if there's any other songs that come to mind that really just put you in the Thanksgiving spirit, uh, you know, I'd love, love to hear Fantastic. that too. Are we, get, are we just doing, uh, are we going to do thumbs up, thumbs down? Why don't you guys give it thumbs up, thumbs down? Okay, if you want to talk, I can, I, can, I can ride the level okay. a little bit right. so you right. guys are able to talk over it a little bit. And I can, if you, if you want any details on what certain ones are, I can I can lavish Good. you with those right. that information. I have high hopes. So here here we go. It's the uh, Team West Herd Thanksgiving Radio Mega Mix. <laughs> Brad, you know what this is? I do not. She's on Team West Her. It's, no, it's Carrie Underwood. Yeah, with her, her song, oh. Stretchy Pants. I did not know this was a real song. So, yeah, I didn't know until about uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon, so I like it. See two big I thumbs think, up uh, from the panel. Excellent. 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 Stretchy, stretchy pants is a must. Yeah, we didn't even talk about a tire, but <laughs> it's fitting. You can get anything you want at Alice's restaurant. Now it all started two Thanksgivings ago. It was on two years ago on Thanksgiving this, yeah, when my so friend and I. Are you familiar with this? It sounds kind of like it's like a jingle a little bit. But a little bit. So this this is Arlo Guthrie's Alice's Restaurant. So actually every Chris, or Christmas, Thanksgiving Day at noon, uh, 97 Rock plays this. Okay. So this is actually a legitimate Thanksgiving standard. Okay. So kind of free standard anthem. Honestly, yeah. So this this is a little pre-standard, but it's basically uh, it's from kind of. Vietnam era, okay. like he was kind of a storyteller kind of guy. Are you guys familiar with uh, Friday by Rebecca yeah. Black? Yeah. This was one of her label mates back uh, 15 no years ago when they were basically, you know, taking money to turn yeah, any of those 14 year olds into a pop star. <laughs> so, uh, her name was uh, Nicole Westbrook. Right. It was given the Thanksgiving show. Nicole, thank you for being here. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think the first two are <laughs> thumbs up. The first up, two thumbs up, up. that was. Ten little turkeys sat All right, in the Definitely bed. thumbs up. For yeah. Me. So I'm going to be playing this song dad, for my so kids. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that is at, at a certain point, uh, whatever, Star 102.5 or whatever the holiday station is now, you know, they'd have to stretch the, the yeah. definition of Thanksgiving song. And, I'm going to need uh, you to send me the link to this. <laughs> this, this is uh, Ten Little Turkeys by The Learning Station. Oh, so, fantastic. You know, this will get a lot of play in the next couple of yeah, having Reed's top household will be blaring with yeah, yeah. this. This might, in the house. This they, they might want to play this after things. Like yeah. <laughs> Eat that turkey all I was waiting. I was yeah. waiting for Adam Sandler. That's the only one I know that's a Thanksgiving one. Turkey, turkey, dad. I eat the turkey. So obviously, you know, this, this is a pretty, pretty well-known one. Very well-known, you know. 
free uh, free <laughs> uncut <laughs> gems. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uncut gems his own. Probably the least, <laughs> the least sung of them all, but uh, <laughs> the best right. well known. I think. Turkey with the gravy yeah. and a cranberry. I guess I gotta give it a thumbs up. I think so. Thumbs up. Thank you for okay. being This is a theme song. And then I started thinking to myself, <laughs> like we said, if you have to kind of start stretching the definition of songs, like there's definitely songs that they play on the radio that are quote unquote Christmas songs, but not really. But what makes me feel thankful? Friends. The Golden Girls. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. So I think the Golden Girls theme song, Thank You for Being a Friend, I think would be my personal pick. I like so, You worked in thanks in there. So exactly. It brings out the uh, nostalgia yeah. vibes. It's got oh, the vibes, yeah. right? Yeah. You can imagining yeah. mom's in the kitchen, you know, like Spop dad's, in your head. dad's yeah. working the deep fryer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thumbs up. So thumbs, thumbs up. up. So, so that's like a selection of, you know, what the radio could sound like, I think, if, if we did have a dedicated month to, to Thanksgiving, but uh, do you guys have any other picks that would uh, stand out to you? <laughs> My, mine was going to be the Adam Sandler, and if you didn't think of it, uh, mm-hmm. listening to it back though, it's it's actually not very good. <laughs> like <laughs> if you actually listen to like the song, but uh, it's just he kind of made it was more than just Thanksgiving, right? Didn't he have a few that were like holiday? Th- I think he songs, worked through some stuff, yeah. But the uh, big the one was Hanukkah song yeah, too. Hanukkah so song, like he's had a couple different holidays that don't typically get uh, songs on the radio, but listening to it back, it's almost like that (laughs) thing when you're younger, you remember it one way and then you're older um, and it's just not quite as good, but I'll I'll still give it a thumbs up there. Yeah, I I think uh, I I mentioned it before you, Mm -hmm. before, I think before we started recording, uh, the Thanksgiving dinner playlist Mm -hmm. on Spotify is amazing. So what kind of stuff comes up on that? So the first song is Lovely Day by Bill Withers. Oh, okay. okay. I think that just like puts you in a good mood, gets you uh, in the right appropriate mindset mindset for Mm. Thanksgiving. It's hard to have a bad day on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. If you're, you know, you got a whole plate of food (laughs) and uh, and then you eat leftovers Mm -hmm. watching the night game. Yep. So I think uh, that that's probably, yeah. So they're, they're going for the the tonal thing there, right? Because yeah. obviously, right, right. lovely day, not necessarily. Sort of like you were hitting with the, uh, with the Golden Girls, yeah. girls you gotta, theme there. You got you got to broaden the definition. Sure, here sure. You got to expand a little bit. Yeah, sure. but I think that bit. that fits. That's excellent. Yeah, definitely. And I, yeah, and I think uh, that was a nice mix there. For Good. sure, very well done. <laughs> Stevens had a few. We're gonna give him a shout out. A few different moments uh, the last couple of years where he's done different mega mixes. We had one that. Uh, Team West heard Deion Dawkins and Dawson Knox listen to uh, on a, a piece we did last year, two, like two years ago now. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and when we gave away Josh's truck, um, they listened to it in the truck. And that was hilarious to watch them kind of react to some songs on the radio there. So you're kind of our, our music pro at this point. So. <laughs> yeah, D- DJ Steve here. Yeah. But that, that, one, that one was fun because Dion didn't know the song Fast Car and Dawson yeah. didn't oh, know uh, no. Benny the Butcher. And so yeah. the, the cross both made, each, made up words. <laughs> yeah. It was go back and watch yeah, it, Reed. I'll send you it. Yeah. 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 Go watch Check it that after. one out. Um, but if people watching, listening, uh, they have a strong opinion on a Thanksgiving anthem, we'd love to hear that because um, we'll work it in. We'll make a case for it. We'll start a campaign similar to Reed's Raising Cane's campaign. We'll, <laughs> we'll add a Thanksgiving uh, anthem campaign. I did have Raising well. Cane's on the bye week. Okay. It was. Oh, man. I think I saw some Just um, satisfied all the taste buds. Yeah. Okay. So you had you had a good week eating. It was it fantastic. Like. Yeah. It was great. Hit all the. All the great spots back home. Yep. I saw Reggie uh, Gilliam one. shared, I think, on social media. Someone was saying it was their first time there, and he said, make sure you cover everything in the sauce. Yeah, so dip I think that everything, was his recommendation. Chicken, fries, yep. bread, everything in the sauce. All right. Yep. Well, um, I think that's all the time we have for today. It's been uh, been great to talk some Thanksgiving with you, Reed, Absolutely. and talk football as always. Uh, to everyone watching, uh, I'm going to give you my cheesy line here. We're thankful for you because uh, we wouldn't always. be able to do this with without people watching, listening. Thankful for everyone on Team Wester here at Wester. And uh, make sure you tune in coming soon. We'll have our next episode uh, on the Team Wester podcast. For Reed Ferguson, I'm Brad Gelber. Thanks for watching this episode of the Team Wester podcast. We'll see you again soon.